Hello guys, I'm back again with another video. Today I am in Ekoto Obasi and I'm here in Ekoto Obasi so people directed me to come to this bank. This is a bank, a bank which no one can ever enter. Never, nobody have ever entered this bank since the beginning of this bank. Since 19, I don't know if it is 18 something or 19, 1924. And since this bank has been existence, nobody has ever, ever, ever entered or crossed this bank. So I'm here to check out and know how this place is. This is the most strongest bank I have ever seen in the whole world because this bank has been existing since 1924 or 1920 in this town and nobody has ever crossed or entered inside this bank to see what they thought or what they said inside this place. And people have been trying to break this bank to see what they have inside this place whether they save it with gold or they save gold inside or money inside but nobody has been able to break or cross and enter inside the bank to know what they stored inside this place so i would tell you that this is the most strongest bank the most heaviest and strongest bank i have ever seen in this world is here in ekoto basin and apply state nigeria so let me show you guys let me take you guys around the bank to show you how strong and how they build this the most strongest bank in the world please guys while watching this video consider subscribing to this channel click the red subscribe button on your screen and turn on the bell notification so that you will always be notified whenever i upload a new video on this channel please guys subscribing to this channel doesn't cost anything it's just for free that's for you to click the red subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you will always be notified whenever i upload a new video on this channel thank you very much without wasting much of your time let's continue the video so guys while making this video i met someone from this community and i decided to ask the person some questions about this bank to know if he can tell me anything any history about this bank and the reason why this bank is here and nobody have ever crossed inside the bank so listen to him let's listen to what he will say about this bank 31 years and since you were born you have seen this bank i've seen this bank you have been there this since i was born nobody has been able to break this bank I myself, I even attempted down to see if I was going to open it. Up to now, nobody, you have seen all the rules. You want to, that will tell you that many people have tried to break it, they are unable to break it. Wow. So this is the bank. Yeah. Up to now, nobody what are the things that they have tried? They have used what and what to try to get mm, it? They have used an axe, matches, and some other things that are used to break it. Wow. Wow. And they were not able to get inside. Yes, yes. And until today, nobody knows. Nobody knows what's inside. What do you think like, is inside this place now? In your own mind? I will say it's money. More than this money because there's nothing in bank that money. Okay. So I will say it's money. Okay. So how about the fact that this place were used for slave trade? Do you think, what if some slaves are inside there? Mm, it's not possible that slaves have been decided to now and are still living. I don't think so. Okay. Even if people are inside, they are dead. They are dead. Oh, you can look at it. There is no place that air can come in. So how will it be in a place that there is no air? Okay. Okay. So what you are actually seeing is a bank. This is actually a bank and it has been abandoned and never opened. Nobody actually can open this thing and they have tried. And the thing is nobody knows Maybe diamond is stored inside here, maybe gold, maybe silver, maybe currency, nothing. Or important files, documents may be stored inside here, but it never has been opened. Let me show you around. So guys, this bank is built in the middle of a river. I don't know the name of this river, but the bank is built in the middle of a river. And this is the most strongest bank I've ever seen in the world. This bank, many people, the, the, the whole local government, the whole community have tried to break this bank to see what is inside this bank. But nobody, no, no government have been able to break this place to see what they stored inside this bank. So, and look at, look at where they built this bank. In the middle of the river, in the high sea, this is the middle of the river, they stored and built this bank inside this river. So, so this is a bank that has no name. Nobody knows the name of this bank. Nobody knows how this bank was established. Nobody knows how. Nobody knows who built this bank here, and nobody knows what is stored inside this bank. But the villagers know that this is a bank, and 
there are things that are stored inside this bank, but they have tried their best to demolish this place to see what they built inside this bank. But nobody has ever been able to demolish and break this place to see what they stored inside this place. And I've heard they have, that they have also used um, they have also used um, payloader, all these caterpillars they used to break buildings and everything to try to break this place. But they have tried their best, but the caterpillars and other things could not be able to use and demolish this bank. So I will tell you that this is the most strongest bank in the world. This is the most strongest and secured bank in the world because nothing in this life can ever break this bank here so i don't know the i don't know the particular name of this bank nobody can tell the name of the bank but what they know is that this place is a bank and there are things stored inside the bank but nobody can tell what is stored inside this bank so as you can see when you look around you see that this bank is built in the middle of the river the bank is built in the middle of the river here in a quarter of basin so I they don't know if it is gold, silver, or diamond, or even money they stored inside this bank. But what they know that there are things they stored inside this bank, and nobody can ever tell what is inside this bank. So let's keep reviewing this place to see if we can be able to find someone to tell us what is inside this bank. Let's go. So guys, we spent over 3 hours looking for someone who can be able to explain and tell us how this bank is established here. And luckily, I find an old man who could be able to explain to me and tell us how this bank is established. He explained everything to us, but we tried to add him in the video. He refused and said that he can only explain to us for us to write it down, then later we can tell you guys how this bank and the people that established this bank here exactly what this bank is and i spent the past three hours going around this village to find out the real truth behind this bank and right now i have more information to share with you and after three hours walking around to find out exactly what this bank is this bank is called the first british bank of nigeria the first British bank. I don't know is the reason why they call it the first British bank is because this is the first place they built the British Bank of Nigeria. So that is called the first British Bank of Nigeria. And this bank was destroyed by the women war. If you don't know, around 1929, war broke out. Nigerian women fought against the council chief or what they call them because they didn't want women to pay tax. So this war is called Aba Women Riot. Most of you from Nigeria would know Aba Women Riot. So this war broke out around 1929 or something like that. And that is when this bank was, and that is when this first British bank was closed down. Why did the bank close down? According to the story I got here today, they say when this war broke out, the men didn't want to fight. The men don't know how to fight. They are men. They didn't know how to fight. It was the women actually how to fight. And what did the men do? The men decided to invade the bank to go and steal money from the bank. So when the men invaded the bank to steal money, the manager of the bank ran into that safe. The safe is there and locked the safe. Which means, like I said when I was there, do you think somebody is inside the safe? And according to the story I heard, the reason why that place is can't be opened is because the manager locked it inside there. And that way, this safe was locked until today and it hasn't been opened. And that means the manager is actually inside there. Does it mean that if this bank is broken down today, we are going to find some skeleton inside this bank? This is the story I was able to get and this is how this bank broke down. And according to the people that told me, this is the elders from this community, they told me that after this bank was broken down, that is when they found the first bank of Nigeria. If you're a Nigerian today or if you're coming to Nigeria, you'll notice that there is a bank called First Bank of Nigeria 
after this first British Bank of Nigeria was broken down, after it was destroyed, that is when they found the first Bank of Nigeria. That is actually an interesting story. I got this story from the elders of the community who, did, who wished, according to them, they would not want to appear in the video, but what they told me is exactly what happened. They said this bank is called the first British Bank of Nigeria and it was destroyed by the women war. The men invaded the bank. Instead of fighting with their women, they decided to invade the bank to steal money and the manager of the bank ran into the bank safe and locked the bank. And until today, this bank, this safe, has not been opened. According to the story, they actually said that the bank is not just that thing you saw there. That thing is just the siege. They said that the bank was actually built like a normal bank. And the reason why you didn't see the other buildings is because people have actually destroyed it and sold the ions, the ions that was used to build the bank. But that safe couldn't be broken down because it was locked inside by the manager interesting thank you very much for watching this video to this extent please don't forget to click the red subscribe button on your screen and turn on your bell notification so that you always be notified whenever i upload a new video on this channel please subscribe to this channel and share this video to your family and friends so that they will know the story about this first british bank of nigeria thank you i really appreciate the time you spent on watching this video Thank you very much. See you in the next video that I will be posting in the next couple of days. Bye.